Lewis Hamilton, Toto Wolff shocked with F1 World Champions actions fresh from winning his fifth world title, Hamilton traveled to the Spanish city of Jerez for some recreational activities. The Brit took to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit on a Yamaha R4 as he swapped four wheels for two. But Hamilton was involved in a minor accident when he came off his black tailored bike. And when the news hit Mercedes HQ Wolf quickly picked up the phone to check on his star man. When the news spread, I tried to call him, in vain. Wolf told German outlet Bill. So I called one of the three engineers who was with him. Where are you? Er, um, we're on the track. Are you turning all three on the motorbike, then? Yes, but. Hamilton escaped his incident unscathed but Wolf could not resist having a chuckle at the 33-year-old's misfortune. We all had a liberating laugh, he added. But it is clear that for Christmas I will not give him a bike. Meanwhile, Wolf also spoke about the possibility of Mick Schumacher, son of legendary F1 driver Michael, signing a Mercedes deal. Have I already offered him a contract? He said. He won his Formula 3 title with a Mercedes engine. But for now we need to give it time to grow and improve. Next news the story behind James Key's departure. After a lot of negotiations, James Key will join McLaren in 2019 and now we can tell you what happened behind the scene McLaren first announced their intention to hire Key in July. The public announcement caught Red Bull by surprise and they drove a hard bargain. Red Bull wanted the Woking outfit to release Lando Norris out of his contract in return for Key, but McLaren rejected the offer. And then, the Milton Keynes outfit asked for a big chunk of money and again McLaren showed no interest in agreeing to Red Bull's terms. By the end of December, both the parties seem to have finally reached a consensus and Key will join the British team from next season. So what convinced Dr. Helmut Marka to agree? Red Bull owner Dietrich Maitschitz wanted to bring closer coordination between both his outfits and he wanted to eliminate duplication of work where possible. But he was not interested in this approach since it meant his position would soon be redundant. Speaking with MotorsportTotal.com, Marco said, Dietrich Maitschitz gave us the task to form a closer relationship with Doro Rosso. And with that, one thing has to be avoided, having different people at both teams doing the same job, we had a plan for this, a plan which hasn't been completed yet, but a plan James Key didn't agree with. In the end, I think it's easier to not keep him and I think this is the best solution. So Key decided to find a new employer, and McLaren was interested. Toro Rosso will not fill Key's post with anyone since most of the design work will happen at Red Bull. We won't try to fill the vacancy for technical director at Toro Rosso with someone else, said the Austrian. The function is no longer necessary as Red Bull's concept will be used, at Toro Rosso. Next news Wolf stunned by Hamilton's Jerez superbike test. Mercedes boss Toto Wolf admitted that his jaw dropped when he learned that Lewis Hamilton had taken part in a superbike test at Jerez at the beginning of the month. The five-time F1 world champion, who is a big bike fan, was offered an opportunity to test a Yamaha YZFR1 supplied by the Crescent team in Spain just after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Hamilton donned a pair of black leathers and rode alongside world superbike riders Alex Lowe's and Michael van der Mark at Jerez. While his style left a lot to be desired, his speed was undeniable, to the point where it actually became a concern for onlookers who asked the Mercedes driver to cool it, especially after scrapping the tarmac. Fortunately with no consequences for himself. 
Hamilton's two-wheel excursion at Yerez was news to his Silver Arrows boss. When the news spread, I tried to call him, in vain. Wolf told La Gazette de lo Sport. So I called one of the three engineers who was with him. Er, um, we're on the track. Are you turning all three on the motorbike, then? Yes, but. We're done apostrophe. With no harm done at the end of the day, much to Wolf's relief, the Austrian admitted it all ended with a good laugh. We all had a liberating laugh, but it is clear that for Christmas I will not give him a bike. Concluded Wolf. Next news Ricciardo stopped caring about stats versus Team May vs Tepin. Daniel Ricciardo says that he stopped caring about his Formula 1 statistics in comparison to Red Bull teammate Max vs Tepin, in a season plagued with reliability issues. Ricciardo, who will move to Renault in 2019, scored two wins early on in the season, in China and Monaco respectively. But the rest of his season was marred by misfortune and he finished a distant sixth in the championship standings. By comparison, Verstappen recovered from a tough start to the year to enjoy his strongest F1 campaign to date, finishing fourth in the championship, winning in Austria and Mexico and claiming 11 podiums overall. Ricciardo admitted that watching his teammate gain momentum was initially a source of frustration, but that his coping mechanism was to stop comparing statistics between the two. I think I got to a point, probably around the mid-season break, where I just didn't care about the stats anymore, Ricciardo told Autosport. I knew I was probably going to get done in qualifying this year, who cares? I may end up with fewer points, who cares? I just want to do what I can and if it works, it works and if it doesn't, life goes on. Of course, I did care, but it was just that I didn't want to put it on a pedestal. I already had so many other things on my mind. I didn't need to fill it with more expectations. If I did the best job I could, maybe I could beat him but if not, so be it and I'll live to fight another day. Ricciardo failed to score a podium after his Monaco victory and suffered five retirements in the 15 races that followed, with other Grands Prix impacted by reliability problems triggering grid penalties. However, Ricciardo maintains that even his period of early season success, which included the Azerbaijan crash with Verstappen, was far from perfect. When you think about it, a 1-2 out of 6, but with the other 4 actually, there was always some drama, he said. In Melbourne, I had a penalty before the season even began, so I was already ready to put my freaking elbow through a wall. In Bahrain, my race was over after a lap. In China, a one in kind of a spectacular fashion. Then there's Baku, and we all know what happened in Baku. In Barcelona, I spun behind the safety car and then in Monaco I won. As good as the first six races were, it kind of shaped the whole year really and the craziness has continued. Next news Nicky Lauda, it has been the worst experience of my life. Lauda has faced plenty of well-documented adversity throughout his career, but he describes his recent lung transplant as the worst experience of his life. Lauda, 69, is recovering well from the transplant and has already had a quick spin in one of his cars. I drove three times here, his farm, I have to brake with my left foot because with the right I cannot, but that's the way it works in the races today. It's OK, the three-time world champion told Australian TV OE24. I'm fine, my lungs work perfectly, that's the most important thing, I just have to recover my strength, I've been lying in bed for five months, so my muscles have disappeared. I only have to do strength training, I train all day with three professionals, 
I will soon be able to walk without support, I get up at 8 in the morning. I train myself, breakfast with the children and I go to the tennis court. The interview then heads in a direction towards his fiery crash in 1976. Lauda, currently Mercedes team advisor, had several life-changing burns all over his body. The Austrian compares his recent troubles to this incident and claims the later was much, much worse. I was never about to die like now, it was the worst experience of my life, of course, I did not realize it, but Birgit and my children, who were with me throughout the operation, then told me how difficult it was for them. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.